Good morning and welcome back to the channel. This is another video on Modern Day Muscle. My name is Jordan. Uh, we're going to be looking at the car for a little bit, you know, talking about, you know, a couple of things. But before we get into that, uh, I wanted to let you guys know um, I'm using these things called cards, YouTube cards. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen them. They pop in the, uh, the right hand side of the screen. You know, it just looks like a little, you know, like tab or, you know, YouTube calls, calls it a card. Sometimes, um, you know, I might do a poll or something like that. I'll try to let you guys know in the video when, and I'm doing a poll. But like, you know, I want, I want to hear from you guys. I want you guys to I interact with those. Also too, like I may reference, you know, something in this video, but then say, hey, if you want to, you know, learn further more about what I was talking about, you can just click this card. So, you know, we'll, we'll get into that, but we'll start with the first card. You know, it's going to be on the right hand side of your screen. It's going to pop up, you know, anytime now. Um, go check out my last video if you haven't seen it already. All right. So what we're uh, going to be talking about right now is all the mods to the car that I've done so far. And then, you know, we'll probably talk about what I have planned in the future. So these intake rings by Mericle Motorsports. Um, shout out to Todd. Um, that's my guy. He's always helping me out. Um, you know, stay tuned for more things coming from him. But yeah, guys, if you, uh, you know, want these rings in particular, which these are, uh, I think, lollipop red is the paint color. You know, they're very, um, they're very, very cool. They're powder coated, so you won't get any chips and they stick out very well. So that's the first mod. Um, second mod that I've done was get wider tires. And these tires are Turos. Um, they're uh, the 275-40R20 on the uh, the nine-inch wheel. I don't want to hear, you know, oh, the Scatpex a nine-inch rim, uh, 275. There's going to be bulge. There's going to be this. There's going to be that. Relax. It fits. So, you know, the 275 for 20 tire on, uh, you know, the nine-inch rim on the Scat Pack rim. Um, I recommend it because. The, uh, the two, did I say 245 or 275? Uh, anyways, um, the, the 275 tire, I recommend put, putting that on your scat pack if you don't have it already, because the 245s are just too skinny. You can't grip with them, and you know, frankly, they, they just suck. Um, especially the, uh, the tires that come on there, they, they're trash. The Goodyear F1s, um, not to say that the actual tire itself sucks, it sucks for this type of vehicle. You're not, not gonna grip basically, you're gonna notice it on the track, you're gonna notice it in the street, you're just, you're just gonna feel like an idiot every time you take, I mean, you're gonna look cool, you're gonna look like a cool idiot, but you're, you're just gonna feel like an idiot, like seriously, like you're gonna take off, and you're gonna be doing this the entire time, you know what I mean? So, anyways, um, the Aturo, 275 40R20 if you're wondering um, what tire I'm using. Also too, for my second card that I'm uh, going to uh, recommend is uh, if you wanna see you know the tires and also my second mod, I mean my third mod that I'm gonna um, talk to you guys about, the tire stickers. There's a card that's gonna pop up as soon as I'm done talking but um, it's uh, me putting on the tire, well, me putting on the tire stickers and then getting the tires put on. So if you guys wanna check that out, a car's gonna pop up at the right-hand side of the screen. Make sure you check that out. But anyways, um, the tire stickers was another mod. Shout out to Treadwear. Um, if you do want tire stickers like me, um, you know, I'm sponsored by Treadwear. You can use my discount code, which is uh, Modern Day Muscle in all caps you'll get a discount on your purchase, so that's awesome. Next mod are my uh, my brake calipers. These used to be black guys, and maybe I should move to the other side. This is better, but uh, yeah, these calipers used to be black guys, and I got them painted red by uh, Paul, Garage Driven, shout out to him. Um, if you wanna go and check that video out, I'm pretty sure 
there's gonna be a card that pops up on the right hand side of the screen you you can check that out as well also to uh, you know go check out his channel and go subscribe I'm um, good, good guy man he's coming out with some dope stuff I'm trying not to lose train of thought so I remember all my mods oh the next mod that I have which um, actually I believe if you have a 2017 no I believe if you have a 2018 um, 392 or lower so 2018 2017 2016 2015 I think you should get this mod and that is on um, the Z auto taser that, that that thing is amazing um I uh, it, it, it basically unlocks all the uh, the SRT features I think it's super early in the morning I work night shift so forgive me you guys work with me real quick I'm only allowed like you know five cards per video so I think I'm on my fourth card now, but um, if you want to check out all the mods that I've done in a playlist, there's gonna be a card that pops up which is gonna link you to that playlist and you'll be able to see all my mods. On top of that, I'm gonna put a link to each mod in the description. So if you forget to click it, you'll, you'll see uh, a, mod, a link to each video that I did a mod on. Yeah, a link to each video that you know I basically did a mod on the card down in the description so be sure to check that out you know I blacked out my uh, the, the in, inside of my uh, tail lights by uh, Lux Auto Concepts they make some really good tint also to this uh, I think they call it um, I think I call it racing decal or racing tint I don't remember but um I'll put a link to that as well um, this is also from Lux I debadged, you know, Dodge, and uh, this is a three-piece decal by uh, Lux as well. So I got the Shaker logo on there with the um, Troy Gray color. I thought that looked very good. Um, I just recently switched my badges. Let's see if you guys can see. Yeah, I just recently switched my badges. Um, I used to be from uh, BJ's Garage, but they kind of got old, and. Um, Shout out to uh, Forge Concepts on uh, Instagram. This is where I got these badges from. They're very awesome. I like them. Um, it kind of gives the car a stealth look. Another mod that I did to the car is uh, that uh, awesome license plate with uh, the license plate frame. I think that looks absolutely crazy. If you go and uh, check it out from the back, it just looks awesome. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know, but I think it looks awesome. Some mods that you can't see with the car that, um, you know, I would have to jack the car up to show you, but whatever, I'll tell you about it. I've done the mid muffler delete. I did the resonator delete, and I just recently went catless. I'm sorry I didn't get to show a video of me going catless, but it's basically, if you go and um, look at Paul's channel, he has a video showing how we went catless. So if you want to go and check that out, go check out Garage Driven's channel on how we went catless. But yeah, I love the, the I love the sound of the uh, the car. And if you're wondering what mid mufflers I replaced it with, because I'm not straight pipe with the mid mufflers, I'm only straight pipe with the resonators. Um, I'm using the Dynamax Racing Bullets. I'll have a link to where you can buy that on Amazon. They're relatively pretty cheap. I don't think you should. They're around 50 bucks, and if they're a little more than 50 bucks, then you know the price fluctuates on Amazon. But yeah, it's a great muffler. It sounds good and makes the car sound great. Um, another mod that I've done, well, actually, I had to get redone because um, for some reason I was having issues. But a uh, tent on the car, guys. Um, I live in Florida. It is hot as F. If you live in Florida, you know what I'm talking about. I just recently, this is a new bod, first time on the channel. I just re recently just got my um, front windshield to in it as well. I think that's great. The car is so much cooler. Um, if you're wondering, it's like 10% on the windows. Um, I can't remember the percentage on the back. Eh, it might be, it might be a... Uh, 10% in the back. No, it might be 15. 
I don't remember. It's but anyways, um, it's 50 in the it's 50 on the front windshield, which I, at first I was nervous, but honestly, I can barely tell that it's there. And the car is so much cooler, guys. It's uh, it's crazy how much cooler the car is because like in Florida, like I said, it is very hot, very very hot, and uh, it just becomes uncomfortable driving at times. We're coming. We're coming close to all the mods on the car. Another mod that I've done, which um, if you wanna go and check this out, I think this is gonna be my final card. It's, uh, my whole car is ceramic coated um, with the product Ceramic Pro. I absolutely love this. It is so easy to keep the car clean, even though the car's dirty right now, so please don't sell me out. But it's the middle of the work week, so give me a uh, <laughs> give, give me a break, guys. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's so much easier to clean the car. Um, the car just always looks um, brand new, straight off the dealer. Honestly, every time I drive, I get compliments on that all the time. They like how shiny it is. Let's wait for this car to drive by. All right, cool. So the car is going to pop up on the right hand side of the screen. It's going to be um, my one year. Um, ceramic coating basically where it shows me going to first class detailing and uh, it just show it just basically shows on um, you know the process of washing a car that's ceramic coated and the maintenance that needs to be done on it so that car is gonna pop up now I believe this is the very I believe this is the last one that I have on the car right now I think up to date oh no I have I have two miles that I'm not talking about I have an oil catch can which uh, Let's pop the hood real quick, but before we get into that, I have an oil catch can, and I also have a, um, a 180T stat. Uh, you know, I've seen a bunch of controversy online, whether you should, you know, have the 180, the 160, or just use stock. Um, the 180T stat that I got is uh, recommended for these cars, and uh, it's actually sold from a Dodge dealer, Steve White Motors, on eBay. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll have a link to that in the description as well. But yeah, let's pop the hood real quick. So guys, these are, you know, something personal that I do on my car. The, I don't know, it's personal to me. I don't really talk about it too much, but it's on camera now. But, um, you know, Lux, Merrick Motorsports, H&R, which I just realized I did not talk about H&R. So guys, my car is lowered on H&R Sport Springs 50888. I lo absolutely love the stance of the car. It uh, basically it's the wheel gap delete mod. And just look at how awesome that looks. Now, one thing that I will point out that I, I don't think I've talked about on this channel either is that I got spacers in the back, they're 12 mil spacers. So that's why um, people think that I'm driving around with 315s, but it's just an illusion. It's 12 millimeter spacers that are actually push, pushing the, um, the tire out. So, you know, I love, I will try to find find that link. Um, I'm not gonna guarantee that link because I gotta remember. Cause um, you don't want to put a cheap spacer on, cause that'll just be problems. But yeah, I absolutely love the stance. I've had it on for a decent amount of time, and honestly, I just like the ride quality of the of the springs. Um, I corner a lot better but anyways that that'll be a separate video so we'll talk about that later i feel like this is the third or fourth time that i've tried because i keep getting interrupted but this is this is uh the 180t stat um it's on this side i'm not going to touch it because it's super hot basically you would pull, pull this out remove the old one well the stock one and then put in the 180 so yeah that's another mod i have on the car and then also two for my headlights I have LED headlights. I used to have halogen. Um, on this car, I found halogen to be pretty bad in terms of visibility at night. And they're yellow, so I, don't, I didn't think that looked good on the car, as well as doing my fogs as well. I'll have that video you know, in the, in the description as well as the mods that I've done. I think I'm gonna do a review on that too, because I've had these on for a little bit now, and I really like them. So that's all the mods on my car. Um, I really love the way this car turned out in terms of all the mods that I've done, but I have something in the pipeline. I'm trying to get it all done before a specific meet, um, which I'm going to tell you guys about that right now. It's in Perry, Georgia. It's the Southeast Shindig. 
I'm going to be going up there. I've never been. I hear it's a super big uh, meet. I hear it's one of the big, it gets meets in the south. So I'm going to go. Um, it should be really, really cool road trip and stuff, stuff like that. Um, I think uh, I've actually never driven that far before. So I think that should be cool, you know, to do that with the, the car as well. But yeah, um, just keep your eyes on this because a couple of changes, well, aesthetic changes are happening. I'm going to be rocking a new look. I'm not going to tell you guys about it. You guys are just going to have to, you know, stay tuned for that. I'm really excited for the look. I think it's going to look great. Um, also, too, what was I talking about? I lost my train of thought. It's one of the biggest meets in the South. I'm, I'm going to be traveling up there. I've never been there before. It should be pretty cool. That was my, uh, my uh, hand that fell. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to let her. It just, uh, I just wanted to tell you guys what happened because it was a weird noise and it probably got picked up on camera. But anyways, I'm going to be at that meet. I'm going to be taking a road trip all the way to Perry, Georgia from Florida. Um, if you're in Georgia or, you know, I know my subscriber base isn't that big, but if you're a subscriber in Georgia or you live in Georgia or, you know, I think CFL Mafia is going out there as well. Um, I'm going to be, I'm going to be going. So it's going to be great to see all you guys. And I'm, I can't wait to meet new people as well. But uh, yeah, man, um, this video is done. My name is Jordan. You hear that? I'm trying to like, dude, I'm trying to like do content for you guys and the air is blowing, craps flying in the skies, all that good stuff. But anyways, um, my name is Jordan. This is Modern Day Muscle. And this is your first time to the channel. Please subscribe, like, comment as well, share. But, uh, you know, I'm also Modern Day Muscle. I mean, Modern Day underscore muscle on Instagram. It's going to pop on the left or the right side of the screen. I'll catch you in the next video, guys.